Okay, we're doing another one of these on the fly unboxing videos where you'll see me unbox and use this pen for the first time. This pen is a Moonman Model M2. It comes in this nice box. It says uh, nib extra fine, material acrylic, um, place of origin, Shanghai, China, etc. Um, nice sturdy uh, plastic uh, plastic box so let's just uh, open this up and see what we have and we have a pen and we have an ink dropper so, and it's in this sort of foam bed here which looks quite nice let's just set the box aside for a minute we'll take the pen out of its plastic um, appears to be a very nice pen light pen not a particularly big pen let's compare it in size to a Lamy Safari and a Pilot Metropolitan, so they're all right about the same uh, the same size. I like these chunks of acrylic at the end of the pen. Reminds me very much of the um, Opus 88 Coloro Demonstrator, which has these cylindrical chunks of acrylic um, on there. So I kind of like these chunky bits of acrylic, um, chunky bits of acrylic there. So those look, uh, those look quite nice. Let's actually zoom in a bit now that we have the box out of the way. Um, has this red, what appears to be aluminum ring that just simply says Moon Man. The cap unscrews. It seems to be got pretty much one. That seems like, let's try that again, but that seemed like about one full turn. Yeah, pretty much one full turn. Does appear to have an, a rim there, which serves sort of uh, it looks like it hits right up against the section, so I'm, I'm guessing this is going to probably serve sort of the same function as the inner cap would and keep the pen from drying out, which does seem to be pretty nice. The nib looks like a nice nib, a small nib, a gold-toned nib. This is iridium point, extra fine. It has some little scroll work there, but a, but a fairly small nib and a black plastic feed. Um, it, uh, let's see if it posts. Yes, it does. Oh, it seems to post fairly nicely. Um, feels pretty, pretty good in the hand, actually. I like the way it feels, although I have to say the step up, if step ups bother you, you kind of have like a double step up here. So um, you may have a problem with that, but the section is quite, quite long. It does not have any sort of flare or lip at the end. It just sort of just falls right off there, but um, it does feel comfortable um, to hold. And, and um, I, I suspect, uh, I suspect it would be okay, but again, you do if you do have step ups and step downs that bother you, you may may not like like this too much uh, too much over there. Um, let's uh, let's get a weight on this pen. Uh, break out the old uh, scale and let's see what the weight is. And the weight of this pen is 15 grams. That's that's 15 grams on it um so it's a decently light um decently light pen usually not a big fan of pens without clips but a clip would completely ruin the aesthetics of this pen so this is is what um you get with a with a pen uh, like this so pretty nice feels nice seems to be very well made the acrylic seems um um to be pretty uh pretty substantial and looks uh pretty good sharp sharp looking pen all in all um, so let's uh, uh, take a look at how we'd open this so this turns to to open and we have a nice o-ring and the threads right there so that I'm guessing that will hopefully keep all the ink in place um, but we're about to find out so we're gonna ink up this pen right now so I thought I would use this ink right here, which is Robert Oster Sublime, which is a nice light colored green ink. I'm operating under the premise that lighter colored inks look better in clear demonstrator pens, and we'll see if that proves to be the case. So um, I'm gonna ink this up right now. Okay, so let's break out the eyedropper that came with this pen. It's a nice glass dropper, which uh, would appear to get, be able to get the job done. So we're going to both test out the pen and the eyedropper that came with it all at the same time. So let's just open up 
this in. And we are going to fill up the barrel. So this is a fairly light colored ink, but it looks quite dark in the pen. So my theory about using a lighter colored ink in this demonstrator, and I'm gonna fill this up pretty good, not to the tippy top, is somewhat flawed here. Although you can see how it looks in the glass of the dropper, it looks pretty, pretty cool. Um, but uh, because there's just so much more of it inside the barrel of the pen, you really don't get that full effect. So we're just gonna screw this on and there you go. We're gonna cap it and then we're gonna invert it for a little bit to get uh, some ink down into the feed. Um, so that is our pen all inked. So far a nice looking pen but, but, as we always say, pens were meant to write. So, let's see how this pen writes right now. Okay, folks, what we're writing with here is a Moon Man. Model M2. And this is a extra fine steel nib. Um, I would have to say I am not pleased with the way this nib writes right out of the box. This has way too much feedback from my taste. Although I would say it's got good flow. But too much feedback. Um, yeah, I, I'm going to actually, um, to be fair, so I, I would say, I would almost say this is unacceptably um, rough um, or scratchy out of the box. I'm actually going to do something I don't think I've ever done in a video. I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to take a little micro mesh to this and see if I could just make this write a little bit better because I honestly don't think I would use the pen again um, if this is the way uh, uh, it, it's going to write. I'm not, it, it's, it's just way too scratchy for my taste, even for an extra fine, even for an extra fine. Yeah. So uh, let's take a brief pause. And um, I will uh, be back and uh, I'll take a little bit of smoothing and see if I could uh, make it write a little bit better. It's intermission. Rise and stretch time. Okay, I spent uh, about two minutes or so working on this nib, so I didn't make a major investment in it, but it writes much, much, much smoother now. It's actually usable. It was unacceptably scratchy before. It still has a decent amount of feedback, but it's in a level that I'm... Uh, uh, I would say is acceptable. Um, it's not, like I said, it's never going to be a smooth, uh, glassy smooth nib because it's just way, way too fine a nib for that. But um, the micro mesh really did a great job smoothing it out. So now it's um, after the micro mesh. Um, it's, uh, it's, it's okay. Um, <clears throat> not, not fantastic. Like I said, um, uh, I may actually, I like this pen quite a bit. I'm, I, I may actually look to replace this nib because I think if I put a broader nib in, um, I'll be happier with it and, um, uh, you know, probably, probably use it more, um, because as it is now, 
Um, it's a clipless pen, which I don't like to begin with, but if it had a fantastic nib in it, I'd be willing to put up with that, but it does not have that uh, at the moment. It has just an okay nib, and that was only after, after working with it for, um, for a bit. But I do like the overall look of the pen. This acrylic is really, really nice. Very well, well made. I just, uh, maybe I got a dud nib, but, um, which, which could be, but, um, not, not crazy about, uh, not crazy about this, um, this nib at all. Um, okay. Let's, um, let's talk about this ink now. So this ink is Robert Oster Sublime. So this is a cute name for this ink. It is a very subdued lime colored ink. So Sublime is a good name for it. I really like this color. I think it's an interesting looking pretty color. It's just a little too light for many practical uses. Um, um, but I do really like the way it looks. I mean, I, I wish I had more occasions to be able to use an ink that this light. It is, it is quite, quite light. I think the camera is actually making it look darker than it actually is in real life. In real life, it's, it's actually quite a light, light green. Um, maybe a key lime shade I would I would almost say um, but um, but I do but I do like the color I think it's a really attractive attractive color um, it's just uh, it's really just a question of um, you know uh, uh, if you have a use for this something a, a green ink that's this that's this light um, I wish I had more occasions to use it because I actually do do like this color quite a bit, and like all the Robert Oster inks, it comes in these nice plastic um, uh, bottles that are how many? How big are these? Let's see, 50 milliliters, 50 milliliter bottles, which are pretty nice plastic bottles, and uh, made in Australia, which is somewhat unique. Um, there you go. Mixed bag this week. Like I said, um, I'm going to see what I could do with the nib on this pen. And we'll see if we can uh, maybe make it into a, a pen that I would use more often. So, there we go. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe. And if you did not, please leave me a comment and tell me why. Or leave me a comment in any case, whether you liked it or not. In any event, have a good day. Bye-bye.